I have been seeing this brand on Instagram literally since before I started this YouTube channel. That's how long I've been waiting to do this review. Today we are reviewing the highly requested Bombshell Sportswear. If you're at all familiar with this brand, you've probably seen their sock leggings on Instagram. They were, I think, the first brand to really make the sock leggings popular. And they literally have a design patent on their sock leggings, which is very rare. That's why all of the AliExpress dupes got taken down. Anyways, I wanted to review them like a long time ago, but I went on the website and the leggings are like $90. So I was like, not today, wallet. But a couple years later, we're spending $350 on four things, which kind of hurts. But you know what? If it's really good stuff, there's nothing wrong with having a brand that you like to splurge on sometimes if it's really good quality. So honestly, my hopes are quite high. I feel like I hear really good things about this brand. So I'm ready to be impressed, especially because I feel like Bombshell is one of the few activewear brands that I keep seeing designing unique activewear pieces and in a world where sometimes all activewear looks the same these days it's nice to see brands that continue innovating and doing unique designs. I do have just like a couple of concerns about the brand. First of all when I was looking into buying these pieces I went to their size chart and their size chart for the leggings is based off of height and weight which I think is a very outdated inaccurate way to determine sizing. Like give me some measurements there like I have all my measurements they're ready to go so I usually am ready to like compare them and when I see a height and weight one, it put me at like the border of like medium and large, which if you're familiar with like me and my channel, I almost always wear smalls. So did I follow their size chart? No. So we'll see if that actually was accurate, but I don't know. I just don't think that height is really like an important thing in leggings when most of the fit comes with like the waist and hips. Like what do my leg length have to do with this? It's not like the large is like longer than the medium. So I just don't really understand. Also scrolling their website, their models kind of give me that like perfectly slim thick Fashion Nova model look, which sometimes can be a little bit off-putting just personally. I do think it's helpful when brands put at least a couple different body types on the website to just see how a different style will look on you. Like, especially if you're gonna make leggings up to like an extra large, I forget what their size range is. But if you're gonna make leggings up to an extra large, like maybe show a couple body types. I don't know. So yeah, pricing definitely basically kind of up there with Lululemon. The leggings were like $89. But again, if they're really good quality, I don't have a problem with that. It's just not gonna be a brand I buy like a lot. And their shipping was super quick. I think like from the day I ordered, I got everything within like four days, which is very fast. Anyways, if you're new here, my name is Catherine. Do a lot of brutally honest activewear reviews. Everything today I did purchase with my own money. Bombshell does not know who I am. So this is a totally unbiased, unsponsored review. If you like super honest, detailed activewear reviews, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So I just have to start with the sock leggings. And first of all, the little packaging for this is so cute. Like this is actually like upcyclable in some some way so let me know in the comments down below how you would upcycle this if at all but yeah they come in these little like buttony bags so these are the pocket thigh highs in the color cloud i got a size small and i think i compared myself to like the models on the website and the models were wearing like extra smalls so i was like okay if they're extra smalls I could probably be a small. These were $89, so quite expensive. On my order thing, it says these are medium weight. I don't know, maybe that's like medium compression or like medium thickness. Okay, so first impressions, I'm really liking the marled material on the top. It's like super soft. If you guys know me, I love a soft fabric. I'm just a huge soft fabric girl. So this is kind of like a marled material, almost kind of reminds me of the Aloe Yoga Aloe Soft or the Beyond Yoga Space Dye. Like, super soft. Here's a close up. You can't really see the fuzziness, but it is very slightly brushed, not too much, and is marled and pretty stretchy. So I specifically got the high rise ones. I think they also have like a mid rise that has one of those like, like big elastic waistbands. And I just knew that wasn't going to be my thing. So I thought, why not get something that I might actually like? Okay, so it looks like everything's made of a polyester spandex material. Another thing about Bombshell is everything is made in the USA. So I feel like that also kind of helps to justify the high prices. So we have a high rise waistband and it is seamless at the top. So it's not gonna cut into your waist. Unfortunately, there is a front seam still. I hope that this doesn't cause any problems. And oh, we do not have a crotch gusset. Okay, so there's no crotch gusset. Usually crotch gussets kind of help to make the front seam a little less like tight and cause a little less camel, you know? So that that's a little concerning. These do have side pockets, which I know some people like need pockets in their leggings. Personally, I don't really like find the need for pockets because like I usually go to the gym in my leggings and I'm not like, carrying around like my phone in my pocket. Then we have the famous or maybe infamous thigh high sock detailing. So these are like a mesh at the bottom, which like mesh is okay for me. I guess that would make it like a little more lightweight. And then we have like these little three sock details. Here is the mesh close up. 
And it also looks like the seams of the glutes in the back are ever so slightly tapered downward. So maybe they'll flatter the glutes a little more. I always feel like they're one of those brands that really tries to flatter the glutes. So high hopes. Okay, let's try them on. Okay, so these leggings almost really worked for me. The, the no gusset front seam problem is just causing me some issues. So um, yeah, that is for sure a problem with these leggings. So personally might avoid them just for that reason. I just don't know why you wouldn't add a gusset if it would like help with this. Like these are $90 leggings, like put in a crotch gusset. Okay, thank you. But that's really my main critique. Otherwise I love the material on top here. I think it's a super soft, really nice compression and hold. It's gonna be that kind of material that really just like hugs every curve and just like snatches your waist. Gives about a medium compression. It is gonna be like pretty warm for summertime, just so you know. Might show a little bit of sweat, but I love the high rise here. I feel like I'm getting a really nice like point in my waist, nice and snatched in. The pocket on the side is great. Fits my full phone. So I think it's a good size. And I also feel like it's like not a super noticeable pocket. It's just like a very subtle line. Unfortunately, these tags are giant. And if I want to return these, I can't remove them. And I just don't really think I wanna keep them with this front seam, so. And these are definitely flattering on the glutes so first of all the seams they just have like a slight taper so it's not like super obvious but just kind of flatters the glutes a little bit goes fully above the glutes so also allows them to be their full potential and i don't know the seam like i didn't even really have to like pull this up and in too much and i just felt like it's giving me a nice amount of separation that's kind of partly with like this fabric just being like very hugging like there's no like bagginess anywhere so these are fitting really well. Also, very glad I didn't listen to their sizing recommendations because this fits perfectly, no gaping in the waist. So don't listen to their legging size chart. Go with like your normal legging size. I tend to wear a size small in most leggings. And onto the sock part. So personally, I'd probably like a legging with all of this top material the most because I don't really like love mesh. Like this one actually isn't too like itchy or weird. So it's fine. It's actually pretty stretchy as well. Sometimes mesh can be a little restricting. So I definitely think they have a really good mesh here. I'm just like not totally sure. I love the sock lighting look for me. Like I think it could be flattering if you tend to get cellulite in kind of like your lower thigh area. This actually would be pretty cellulite friendly. And this top area it is marled and it is a little bit thicker so these might be cellulite friendly overall actually. And I'll put what the length of them is on the screen but they basically go full length on me. The mesh part down here had a good amount of like vertical stretch so I could actually Kind of make them work for me so in terms of booty scale i give them a medium to high so i can finally say that i tried the infamous sock leggings i don't usually like to give ratings of leggings but i feel like i'd give these like an 8 out of 10. the fabrics feel really high quality and everything feels really great but i just would have liked to see a little crotch gusset because the camel problem is there so yeah let's try the next pair Next, I got the voluptuous leggings in ruby red. So I actually waited for these to come back in stock because I really wanted to try them because I love the little detailing. But first of all, oh, okay, okay, already improving. Um, we have no front seam, that's good to see. So it looks like they have these in some of their leggings, but not others. This is the same fabric as the top of the sock leggings. So it is a marl, like super soft, super stretchy, pretty thick too. Seamless waistband. And what I was really excited about on these was this like back detailing. They have like this little wire V inserted. So I feel like that'll be cute on the back. I wonder how comfortable it would be. Like if you're like lying on a bench, like doing bench press or something, I don't know. Then they have like this little cutout, which might be dangerously close to the crack, I don't know. And just kind of a super mini scrunch detail. This scrunch just from appearance looks like very subtle and maybe kind of close to like the Gymshark Whitney V2 leggings that was like a scrunch, but really just like kind of like made it into glute separation and didn't have any actual like fabric gathering. So I'm thinking good things. And I also like how subtle and minimal their branding is so far. We just have like this little B at the bottom of the leg and it is like a silicone branding situation. I don't like huge logos. I think they just make activewear look cheap and this is not cheap. So glad to see that minimal branding. Okay, let's try it on. Okay guys, I have been fooled. I thought I saw a crotch gusset on this thing. I thought I saw it. I thought I used my own two eyes, saw a little crotch gusset. And guess what? There is none. So at least there's no front seam, but I'm not sure what they're doing not putting a crotch gusset. Okay, oh, is this like super dark? So I'm not quite sure what the deal is, but for me, I just rarely choose a legging that doesn't have a crotch gusset. And I can already feel this seam from the scrunch settling in places 
that I don't want it to be. But we're not getting any double camel because there is no front seam. There is some single, which, you know, I can kind of deal with. It isn't the worst thing. So, okay, now that that's out of the way, let's talk about the leggings. So first of all, this material is just so nice. I don't know if you can just tell on camera, but it just like hugs in all the right places. It's so soft feels like luxurious and nice, giving about solid medium compression. It's also a little bit on the thick side, again, like I was saying before, so it might be a little bit warm. And I stand by what I said before, that this is similar to like the Aloe Yoga, like Aloe Soft, Beyond Yoga Space Eye, even Petula Bear. So there are similar fabrics out there if you've tried these leggings before and you're like, oh, I love the fabric, but not the design, something like that. So we got a really nice high rise here, it goes a little bit above my belly button, no front seam, some paneling down the side. I definitely prefer this kind of style over the sock leggings just because I like this fabric all the way around. Kind of about a 7 8 length. I feel like these just hit a little bit shorter on me than the last ones. And now we kind of have a problem. We kind of have a problem with the back here. So first of all, I'm sorry about this tag, but they are literally huge and in the way and I just wish they wouldn't make such giant tags. Okay, so I'm not even wearing high rise underwear and this little hole right here, it just, it, it's like a little peep. It's not very underwear friendly. So I feel like this might be a commando legging situation, which I don't love to do. So for someone who doesn't really enjoy going commando at the gym, this will be a problem. Like I'm wearing like mid-rise underwear. So I do think this little V detail is cute. Like I like the originality of it. I think it's fun. It is like a metal wire and it's not like bendable or anything. So I do feel like this could be a little painful. It's definitely a little more for looks and less for functionality. In terms of the scrunch, I feel like they did a great job. There is like ever so slightly a small amount of fabric gathering, so maybe not quite as good as the Gymshark Whitney leggings, but I feel like without looking like there's a huge scrunch involved, I'm getting some separation. And I don't know, I think I'd give these a high on the booty scale. They look pretty flattering. I do feel like these would be cellulite friendly because you do have a decently thick material and some marl. So yeah, I feel like these almost had me. If you like the design, you're okay, like going commando. I do actually really like the material. I think it's well made. I think the design's cute. It's just the lack of the crotch gusset again and the back for me. Like I don't need to be worried about showing my underwear or even, you know, like I don't, I don't need to be doing that. The gym can be uncomfortable enough and I have to draw the line somewhere. I would definitely like to see the scrunch other places though because it's doing things, it's doing good things. And I wanted to get at least one matching set. So I got the Buxom sports bra to match the voluminous leggings or voluptuous, voluptuous. So this is $68, which is quite expensive for a sports bra, especially a sports bra that isn't like super high impact. Like if I'm gonna pay for maybe like, like a she fit sports bra, that's gonna like literally prevent my girls from jiggling around at all. That's one thing. This is just a sports bra. It has the same little V kind of like wire detailing as the back of the leggings. And it's very like cage-like in the back. It has gold detailing, little gold details, and almost like the structure of a bralette in the front. I hope that my girls are able to fit in this little cup size space here. And the cup pads are actually still removable. So there still is a hole to remove the cup pads if you don't want them. And this is the same marled material as the leggings. All right, so I really wanted a matching set. I just don't think that this is like the bra for me. And there's like a couple things that I feel like it just wouldn't be like the most flattering. So first of all, the straps are very far to the side. Like it's almost like a bandeau with just like little straps at the end. And I just feel like it makes this area look a little bit more broad, which isn't necessarily like a bad thing. I just, it just is a little strange. I'm also just like not getting a whole lot of support from this. I feel like this is, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a bounce. Okay, um, maybe a light support. It more like contains than lifts, if that makes sense. I guess I am mostly contained within this little cup area. I do spill down a little bit, but I also feel like it kind of goes like up and in and then kind of like cuts me off here. So then I kind of like spill out a little bit. I'd say like a low to medium coverage, maybe maybe a medium coverage. It's really not that bad. I just like I'm not fully contained. Oh, I didn't even realize there was another cutout here. There's like a lot of cutouts on this bra. Also just like the style of this one is just a little more like, bedroom and a little less the gym, if you know what I'm saying, which is totally fine. I would see a girl at the gym wearing this and be like, wow, she looks awesome. But it's almost like that Buff Bunny BDSM bra that I called it that just was like a little too much for me. And here's the back, if I can get this strap out of the way, it just looks a little 
a little bondage to me, you know? So I'm not sure, I'm not sure this is my gym vibe. Oh, okay, it has adjustable straps. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about that. That might actually really help with the support. It doesn't really help with the support, but I do feel a little more lifted. So definitely bonus points for having adjustable straps because I just like don't really see that on a lot of like cute decorative sports bras. So I like that. So this bra may work for like a C cup or below. It may even like enhance them a little bit. I just am not really finding it to be functional or I don't know. I don't even think it's super flattering on my chest, at least personally. So the bras I know for me, they might have other more normal bras on the website. So this is just one I chose to match the leggings. And lastly, these are the leggings I was kind of like least excited about. These are the Pop Seamless leggings. This is the color Hawaiian Punch, $78. And they came in the like kind of mixed sizes. This is extra small, small, which I was a little bit hesitant about because it's like, you know, I'm not an extra small, I'm a small, but I'm also not a medium large. So I, I hate those in between sizes. I just, I second guess myself. Like I never wear medium leggings, but all of a sudden I'm like, could I be a medium large? Like. Anyways, these look quite small, but usually ribbed leggings stretch. So we're still hoping that I'll be able to get these on. I wasn't super excited about these because to be honest, I just feel like ribbed seamless leggings are so boring and I never feel like they're actually like that cute. And you can find so many like cheap ribbed seamless leggings. I feel like out of all the designs we're trying today, this was definitely their least like unique one. Anyways, I do see some details that I like. First of all, the waistband on these kind of resembles the Alpha Elite Amplify. We have like three different levels of compression so the top should be like the most compressive so they kind of snatch your waist in they are no front seam kind of a little mini crotch gusset here little tie-dye pattern and it is a real tie oh is it a real tie-dye i thought it was a real tie-dye but the inside of them is not dyed but it also definitely like doesn't look like a print. I still feel like the appearance is just as good as a real tie dye. And then the back has these curved glute seams, but they don't have like a seam going down the butt. So I wonder if these will still be flattering. I feel like the curved glute seams definitely help, but not having the seam is kind of like eh. So yeah, everyone cross your fingers that I'll be able to get these on because they are looking a little bit small. Let's try them on. Okay, so, so far I've, you know, mostly liked the leggings. I just don't feel like these tie-dye ones, there's like really anything like impressive. Also, um, when I was like trying these on, these like, they really smell, they smell like dye. Okay, so first of all, the extra small small is totally not a problem. Um, they are like super stretchy. So just like how ribbed leggings go, they just have a lot of room to like, you know, stretch out horizontally. So that wasn't a problem. They're a little less high rise than the other ones. And something that often bothers me about like, I don't know, seamless leggings specifically in this style, it always just seems like these are meant to be pretty low rise. Like if I'm gonna wear them up here, I definitely feel like you can you can see the strain in the fabric here, but like I don't like wearing low rise leggings. So we're keeping them up here, sorry about it. So we definitely have a little single camel going on here. It's not a huge deal, it's okay. Uh, the waistband, I really like the three tiered compression. I feel like it's really flattering. Pins, what are you doing, silly? What are you doing? You wanna go under there? Ready, one, two, three. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're so silly. <laughs> Pinto. Peach, go get him. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's like trying to find him. Guys, this is, oh. <laughs> so I like the three-tiered waistband. I feel like I'm getting a nice amount of compression here. In terms of the body of the leggings, it'd be like a light to medium compression. Probably would be lighter if you were on like the smaller side, but since this is extra small, small, and I'm on the small side, then I am like, you know, on the larger end of the size range. So they did turn out to be pretty flattering on the glutes. They have these curved seams and I did find it quite easy to kind of situate it to be flattering on the glutes, give me a little separation, even though it's seamless. So I'd still give these like a solid medium to high on the booty scale. I do feel like they're flattering. I like this little curved detail, maybe goes down a little bit low, but it's still okay. Here's them straight on. Probably get a little cellulite coverage, A, because of the pattern, B, because of the ribbed situation. And they're actually not as long as I thought they would be. I've even tried to like pull them down and they're not going beyond like a seven eighths length. So these ones, I definitely don't feel super impressed by, partially because there's like so many leggings that look like almost identical to this. Like I know they're not exactly the same. So I know that these are like original leggings, but like I'm gonna insert a photo of some on AliExpress that I've had from like a couple years ago, but like these would be a great dupe for these. The only thing is they're not tie-dye, 
of solid colors, but they're no front seam. They have like the curved glue seams at the back. They're like seamless. They're very similar to these and they're like 10 to $15. So these were kind of a flop for me. Right, guys so that is it for the video i think overall i definitely liked the fabrics the unique designs just some things fell short like the lack of a gusset and just some of the designs like the little cutout on the back of the one just didn't like quite work for me so personally i don't really love any of these quite enough to keep them i did really like their marled fabric so if i ever find like one of their more basic leggings in that fabric i might be interested in trying it the only thing is like camel situation like we'll have to see about that but yeah i definitely think it's high quality stuff i think they have unique designs comment down below what your thoughts are about any of these if you've tried the brand before and also let me know what brand i should try next i'm trying to do a little dabbling into like a lot of different brands right now just to kind of you know try some brands i've been eyeing but i haven't gotten a chance to try if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye